The Brits are brilliant at engineering sick performance cars, and the McLaren 650S is supposedly the latest high watermark. But can the 640 horsepower V8 really go up against Lamborghini, Ferrari, and Porsche without breaking a sweat? I intend to break one, finding out. Horizontal bungee jump. Woohoo! This car accelerates zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. That's down around Formula One territory and far better than its competition. A 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 with 641 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. For the real engine sound geeks, McLaren even allows you to put the little window between you and the engine compartment down so that you have unadulterated revving. So many rear engine cars separate the driver from the engine, from the heat, from the noise, but if you have a car like this, you want to hear that, right? I've never felt a sports car this taut and yet comfortable. I've just, it's wrapped around me like a glove. From a performance perspective, this car is sorted to the gills. But from an interface perspective, even with this nice, clean, vertical touchpad, not all is perfect in petrol paradise. Tuning the radio, a little tough. Shutting off the nav, haven't quite figured that one out yet. But you know, this is about driving, not about interface. So I shut it all off and just decided to enjoy the ride. McLaren has achieved what few manufacturers ever have. They've built a hyper sports car with a unique personality, a wise soul, and the rare capabilities of an extreme athlete. People always ask me after I test a car if I'd take one home. The answer is usually no, but for this one, I think there's room in my garage.